But then Steve but then, Dave's on the wrong channel, I think. Yeah, but then she slid into bed. Totally what? Naked. Slid in? Proper yeah. greased up then? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, Jiggers were live, sorry. Sorry, we're live. Right. We're live. No. Happy days, cool. Hi! There is sound, but just very quiet. Ha ha ha. But we're here. Everyone's a critic! Yeah. Everyone's a critic! Can anybody hear us? See us? Wanna see us? Wanna hear us? I don't know. Well, tough shit. Whether they, whether they want to hear us or not, they're stuck with us. Ha! They're not. They can just press mute. But, um, yeah, welcome back to uh, Vapor and Jenny. After a two week hiatus? A week mm -hmm. hiatus? I don't know. Whatever. Two. Two. I'm not on the wrong channel. I just can't be bothered trying to get free shit from IVS. LVS, London Vape Show. No, uh, Steve Dave, going by what I've seen so far, I think the only thing you get from London Vape Show is a fat lip. And a sore cheek. <laughs> Critics, us. But yeah. Um, <laughs> hi, Bonnie. Hello, Roy. Long time no see. Exactly. Good afternoon, everybody in chat. Um, who have we all got in here? Let's have a wee look and see these. I can get my mouse to the right screen. Well, your your favourite troll is in. Yeah, we've got Sainty. We've got Stephanie. We've got Andy Summerfield. We've got BH Reviews. We have got Gavin. Hi, Gav. And I've got a fly. Kill it. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, it's Sunday afternoon. It's... 2.32 and it's time for the Sunday Vape Lounge. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> That's content done for the day. Hi James. Hi James. London Violent yeah. Spectacular. Andy, I think the spectacular is a bit of an overstatement mate. Yeah. I prefer team reviewer. It sounds critical to each of their own. No, he prefers the term reviewer. Oh, I should wear my glasses. Shouldn't yeah, you should put your glasses on there. VH, you don't review, so you can't say that. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back, Saint. <laughs> yes. Welcome back, Mr. Saint. Yeah. Mr. Coilies. So, folks, if you hadn't known, I've put a couple of reviews out in the last week. What, you mean you do reviews? No, I sit in front of talk to the camera and talk shit. Usually. Just doing what I'm doing now. Yeah, just doing what you do best. Yeah. But <laughs> hey, Biscuit. Hey, Biscuit. I did, I did this bad boy, though. Oh, did you review the Mirage? I reviewed the Mirage. And I've had actually good, I've actually had good comments about it. People saying it's nice to see not so well known mechs, but no, even though it's high end. Um, Roy, I'm glad you do reviews. Oh, since still being nice, right? This, this is since last, last show that he, he has to be him. nice. I told you that. I knew it was, he said one more show to go. <laughs> I thought he meant Wednesday night, but because we weren't there on Wednesday night, that, that would be gloves are off kind of scenario. No, I think but, it was on Wednesday yeah. night when he said one more show. I finally know what it would look like if Frankenstein did a review. No, he's back. <laughs> Normal service has resumed. Tune in for your weekly dose of Let's Insult Roy. <laughs> Speaking of insults, Alexa, what was the phrase? How to say? Do you hate bring around? We can't hear her. No, no I'd say. Just got my new Vaporous Cloud 1111 mod. I'm waiting on my drop to arrive in the post. Hiya, Pasty. Hey, Pasty. Um, so, Bonnie. Since you're sitting there with a cup in your hand and a mod in your hand, you can tell us what you're vaping and what you're vaping on. Well, I'm drinking coffee, as usual. I've also 
broke out this bad boy. Haven't used it for a while, so I thought, yeah, I'm gonna break this one out. Um, how so do you got... call that a boy? It's a yeah, she. it's got a picture of a girl on it, but it's, it's a bad she. boy. It's she. It's a she. It's a tournament sword. It's a she. It's a dirty girl. <laughs> but yeah, that nah, trusty old hexome has been broke out of retirement with the goon on top of that. And in that, I have got some very well steeped white chocolate peppermint from Mr. Unruly himself, Professor Green. Are you getting ready for to see your lover boy at the weekend then? Uh, yeah, well, I need to be buying more of that, so I need to, you know, reacquaint myself with it before I go over and really stash. But <laughs> I've also got my Gen 3 Jewel with the Falcon on top of that, and the very last of my mango orange ice cream from Rude Boy. I has a sand. I has no more left. Oh. That sounds like my cat is demolishing the kitchen. Mm. <sighs> you still the one on the go today then? Well, two. Less than the hex. Oh, yeah. Hello, wake up, son. I think you need some more coffee. Yeah, I do. I've got Old Faithful on the go. The Umboy Rage with the look on top. In that, I have got Iron Brew. Some very well Lovely. But not very much left. Mr. Popman Iron Brew. Uh, no, Andy, it's not a euphemism. I'm just going to go and grab all his e-liquid and run. We had a stash. No. He, he, she, she is just going to try and read his stash as well. And then I've got my... Well, the girl's got to try. Strider. With a Bravo on top. And in that, I've got some of Root Boy's Bad Boy. Pretty oh, fantastic. Yummy. Um, the review for that is also up on my page. Um, if you would like to go over and, and see that and also see after the show obviously and also I've got my Mirage with some of the Rolling Fog coils in here and they are the 30 amp 30A plus mech tricore fused and I have to say folks um, give Give Bill a, a wee head up there, folks, for this cause. They are, they're really good, and you get good flavour from them. Well, I have just received my coils from uh, from Bill, so once I need to recoil something, I will be popping those in to see how good they are. Yeah, um, I do. I do recommend them. So. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, I'm looking forward to trying them because I've I've heard nothing nothing but good reports so far. Everybody I know that has had some of Bell's coils has said they're absolutely amazing. So I'm really looking forward to giving them a blast. I'm glad you said coils there. Why? What else would I have said? Had some of Bell. Um, I'm not going there. That's for a whole other show. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm in this at the minute. I've got some. <laughs> How you tell, like, <laughs> we've been described as portion bags. <laughs> Tatley, my lover boy, long time no see. Hi, Smurf. Hi, Smurf. <laughs> VH Tumbleweed. That's normally what happens in your shows, VH. You know, any work to do today. Oh, burn! <laughs> you brought, leave Mumbles alone. He's brought, he's brought the tumbleweed over from his show. <laughs> oh, dear. That's not right. Picking on Mumbles. <laughs> oh, he's off today. Sweet. That means he's going to troll us all afternoon. Fuck. <laughs> Why don't you join us? Yeah. yeah, if you're not working, Steve Dave, feel free to call in, dude. Uh, yeah, Tetley, unfortunately, real life, i.e. Roy's work, got in the way of the Wednesday night show, so we've not been on for uh, a couple of weeks. So Two weeks. 
Mm-hmm. That's what I said, a couple of weeks. His show's not even good enough for Tumbleweed. Hiya, Twills. Oh, hi, Colin. Watch from Beck, someone should have gone to Specsaver. And they... Andy, wait a tiny something, son. I'm fucking better looking than you are, so shut up. Baldy twat. <laughs> he's looking very brave today. He's lucky he's not going to Manchester next weekend. Tell me about Manchester. Is anybody in the chat going to Manchester? <laughs> I don't know why I'm actually looking forward to it. Um, yeah. Help, getting to help um, Mike on YouTube as well. So that's going to be... I'm looking forward to meeting Mike, actually. He seems like a nice guy, so I'm looking forward I've to meeting him in person. I've spoke to him on the phone a few times. Um, yeah, I've not, you say, so. Portion Frankenstein. Excuse me, I, I, I'm I, insulted that you're calling me Frankenstein. Seriously. You ignorant twat. <laughs> Funny, bald equals virile. Uh, yeah, and they keep driving. So, Andy, why is there very few bald women then? Hey, Smurf, sorry, I didn't see you there. No, Bunny, you're the Porsche. She prefers the term. <laughs> Cheers, Steve Dave. Love you too. Twat. So, folks. Um... Tell, you, tell you what, Roy. Do you remember my earlier statement where I asked you to leave Mumbles alone? Forget I said that. Just gloves are off. Just, you know, yeah. carry on. Hiya, John. Uh, thank you very hey, much. Hey, John. Um, I, can always be, I can always guarantee now if I put a review up, Mr. Nash is the first to watch it and to comment on it. And according to the stats, he actually does watch the full review, so... Cheers, John. And hi, Jude! Hey, Jude! <gasps> See, Saint's on my side. I like you, Saint. Okay, you're forgiven. <laughs> Did you have a good birthday, John? There's very few bald men because men. There's very few bald women because men drop their heads against the headboard. I'm guessing you've never had a woman on top, then, Andy. Or from behind. I'm at your... Hey, Jude, don't take it bad. <laughs> Gently singing. <laughs> oh dear, that's why it's raining. Oh, it's raining because I was singing. Um, folks, just to let you know that there won't be a show next Sunday. Because we won't be here. Huh? I might try and do a couple of bits of live from the from the vape show on the channel. Maybe try a Facebook live. Either Facebook live or a mobile YouTube live. Maybe we'll do it. Mm, yeah, could do. Just to take you to wander around the show. Um, it's not the biggest show on earth, but it's going to be bigger than London vape than the London vape. <laughs> Well, it's going to be better than the London Vape Show. Maybe not bigger, but it's going I to be better. I think it's bigger. Judging by the floor plan, it's bigger. It took, it took what, Mark, five minutes to walk around? Going by Andy's bungee jump, it might not be too lazy for Andy. <laughs> yeah, that full butt agent chucked himself out of a perfectly good cherry picker with fuck all but a rubber band around his ankles. Hey. Andy. Puts a video up and says that he was off out for a Sunday stroll and throws himself out of the flipping cherry picker. <laughs> no, see, I wouldn't do that. Uh, no. I'd parachute. 374 parachute jumps, but I wouldn't bungee. No. Why the f would you throw yourself out of a perfectly good plane? Because it's so peaceful and quiet and, uh, no. and no. amazing. No. It scares the bejesus out of you as you're standing there ready to go. You're looking out and just see nothing. Uh, no. No. Hell no! <laughs> I'll tell you what's even more better. Well, that's not even good English. Even better. <laughs> having to take you're your channeling your inner Vic. <laughs> having to take your parachute off. 
just have your reserve emergency shoot, then jump out. I say again, no! Then wait on your mate coming along and grabbing you, and then the two of you come down on one shoot. No thanks. You have to, it's one of the, it's one of the, um, tests you have to do. No thanks, that's not my idea of good day out. It was, it's mine, I enjoyed it, I might have to go back to it again. Do you be going your own? <laughs> I'll be the one standing at the bottom holding your coat. <laughs> What's peaceful about having the, the ground hurting towards you at 200 miles per hour? Uh, terminal velocity smurf is 120 miles an hour. 191. Well, and why does every scientist in the world say that terminal velocity is 120 miles an hour? 191, apparently. When you because you can actually go into the that's if you're just falling as a normal body mass, but if you go into the bullet and actually then put yourself, you can actually get up to that. I always wanted to do free fall, but they're too expensive back in the day, and you have to do a lot of jumps, and they're not cheap now. They are, Andy. Join the army. <laughs> you got that shit for free in the army. <laughs> that's, where, that's where I started doing mine, Andy, and then it was twenty quid, a, it was twenty quid a, a jump after that. And I tell you what's even more, it's good, great fun, running out of the back of a Hercules, and you keep running, and you run. And you run, ah, you big guns, and then you're hey, running guns. in midair. It's the only time I can do a somersault running um, twenty three thousand feet up. Yeah, and I know the feeling. Just stand at the cliff, and, and I'll push you. <laughs> but no, it's honestly, see the feeling once your shit up. You look up and you see your shit opened. And it is just fantastic. That feeling from there is just amazing. The free fall is great as well. It's just that feeling of just of being a follower. No. It's like you sort of wake no. up in the bed like that. No. Not my idea of a good time at all. But um, yeah. So folks, anybody anybody in chat got anything new or what are you vaping on? I don't know if any of these are on the, the um, Facebook page. You had seen the picture of um, uh, Sainty's new baby. A oh, bit of wind. Yeah, I think I'm still suffering from the munchbox last night. Yeah, you were right. Little, little, um, little small munchbox I got from my local India. Little, little. <laughs> three, three cart or two cartons. Then your carton of salad, and then your naan bread. And chips as well. And chips. Yeah. Yeah, See, you were particularly you were particularly ripe in your sleep last night, my dear. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll be grabbing hold of your scrotum so you come with me. <laughs> with Rage with free curve and enforcer with twenty foot pro. I got a nice. V-Fang. Ooh, Tulsa's got a V-Fang. Colin, I haven't seen you in ages, mate. I'll have to catch up with you someday. But yeah, the big, the big explosion of bad news never came after the good news. Revelations that have come out in the last couple of weeks. There's been no massive big bad news. Give it time. But normally it would have been coming out by now to to deaden the effects of it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. They've been quite gentle with us this time round. Mm. No new mods. We've got the drop solo and dopo mini coming next week. Depro mini. Depro mini. Ooh. I'm thinking of getting the drop solo. No, but no. I don't want the drop solo. I want the Dead Rabbit RTA. I have seen the Dead Rabbit RTA and I am totally in love with it. I no, want one. You haven't seen Twills because he lost his stilts, so he just walked past everybody knee high. Everybody walks knee high. <laughs> anyway, <seeing. laughs> 
Strawberry Jam. Hello, Danny. Hello, MBK Vipper Reviews, aka Danny. <laughs> what was the one you showed me the other day, Bonnie? Yes, that was the one I showed you the other day, Stephanie, the purple one. But I know one you think I'm buying. What that? FP. Yes. Yes, I want one of those as well. I need to get my hands on one of those. I reckon the FP would look sexy as hell on my G-Class. <laughs> but um, if I can get it, and I do a review for it, uh, then Own Magazine's going to publish it. Sub Own Magazine, even. But I say Own Sub. You said Own Magazine. Oh, magazine. <laughs> you forgot the sub bit. <laughs> FP it this week, I think. Yeah, hopefully. Yep. There's C, Heaven Gifts have got it on pre-order. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't pre-order it. I'll wait till Nature Vapes got it and get it from them. Yeah. That's what I fully intend to do as well. Black FP would look good in my black tea class. It would, Shane. Oh, you it would look really nice on that. Your, oh, you're keeping your, your G classes and T classes and your whatever classes and... Well, my G class is the only mod I have that will hold a thirty mil atomizer. Is it thirty mil? Yes. Shit. That's the only mod I have that will hold it without overhang. So. I have no idea what mod I could be able to put it on the non. Would it not sit in your IPV? Your IPV's uh, centre mounted five ten, isn't it? Should sit in it. It might set an app without too much of an overhang then. <laughs> yeah, it should do. It should set on that, no problem. Might just be an excuse to buy another mod at Expo. Yeah, I won't be buying much at Expo. <laughs> My bank account won't allow me this time. <laughs> I'll probably be doing more um, networking than anything else. Mm hmm. What's that one? Uh, ice Where strawberry that? watermelon. Oh, nice. Let's sniff. But it looks like I'm doing root boy stuff for. I need to get through this root boy stuff. Try and get through it for before Expo. Oh, oh, the strawberry's very prominent very hint or no no the strawberry's very subtle in that the watermelon comes through in that really strong mm. yeah well watermelon does tend to be quite a strong flavor anyway Ooh, what's that. that one the boss i think it's blueberry i think it's blueberry slush slush Yeah, That's, I've had I'd had a, a good week, a two reviews out, and lots of work. Yeah. Have to try and get another two, three out this week before Expo. Yeah, because we go um, Friday morning. Thank you for the shout out for my grandson in chat. You're very welcome, John. Of course. Jude's part of the family. Yeah. He has grew with us. But yeah, we um, set off for Manchester Expo at um, some earthly hour on Friday morning. Some rather ungodly hour on Friday morning. You better have some caffeine in a drip for me. <laughs> um, flying to Manchester to go for breakfast, then go up and then help at the vape tube. He has kindly given us um, business to bit. Well, he's given us business to business tickets, but I've also got two business to business tickets sent to me. Because apparently I'm now a director. Funnily enough, wasn't we Gaz uh, a director as well? He got those as well. He was a manager. Yeah, he was a manager, wasn't he? No idea how or why, but... 
I've got them. Sweet. And we've got our normal tickets. And we've got... Mind you, we don't actually need normal tickets because that business to business gives us access all weekend anyway. Does it? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, John says Jude can also swear like the whole family. <laughs> Uh, John. Sorry about that, John. <laughs> I don't swear very much. Right, come on, Saint. You've been very quiet. You've been too quiet. I know it's strange, isn't it? Uh, her saying enters wearing a full suit of armor in case there's free shit. <laughs> Hi, her saying. I've tried to clear out my bottles and I think there's only one I could barely part with. No, it's just an Irish thing. Um, yeah, so what do you think of the um, reports coming from the London Vape Show, Bonnie? I am thoroughly disgusted and, to be honest, quite frankly, ashamed if that's what the vaping community has become. I am ashamed to call myself a part of it. If that is the level of mentality that people will stoop to, then it's it's deplorable. So it is absolutely disgusting behaviour and those people should be taken out and shot. For those who don't know, um, Bunny's other the networks is part of um, the UKN. Um, the co-owner of it, Karika, as some of you will know, um, and also one of their casters, Chunkmeister. Chunkmeister, yeah. Um, we happened to be near the stage whenever the free shit giveaways were happening, and. Chunkmeister got an elbow to the head. It was purely accidentally. No, he actually got a punch. A punch, but it was accidentally. He got a punch. He got a punch in the mouth. Was he not get? I thought he got the elbow, and Sam got the. No, what was no? Carragher got the elbow to the head. Ah, elbow to the head for a ten mil bottle of juice or something. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely disgusting behaviour. Those people. I hope. Yeah, I don't know how people like that can sleep at night. But I, you know, it's. I witnessed that at the. Um, the first Birmingham Expo I went to was what people were doing, fighting and, and scrapping for basically a 10 mil bottle of juice. It was unbelievable. It's like I wouldn't degrade myself trying to do anything like that. Mm -hmm. Mary Knox, poor Sam out. Yeah, yeah. She, was, she was floored and sore after it. It's yeah, just, I think so. You know, and as I say, there was a live cast by TVP and Matt is only chunk. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Saint, that's not nice. No, it doesn't matter whether you like the person or not. You know, you don't deserve to get a smack in the face just because you're maybe, you know, in the vain hope that you're going to get something for free. You don't punch people in the face over it. That's pure greed has taken over and it's disgusting. Last year I caught. As I was walking past the state, or this year, I was walking, no, last year, I was walking past yeah, the state. last year. I caught a bottle, and there was a girl in a wheelchair near me, and I just handed it to her. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's good job Les didn't get hold of them, or we'd be having a whip round for bail money. Yeah, so I believe her sign, and to be honest, I wouldn't have blamed him. Apparently it was the same person. The person was doing, doing that, moving from one side to the other, trying to grab everything out of people's hands, no matter no matter what. And that is disgusting. That is absolutely disgusting. Whoever that twat is, better not turn up to Manchester. I don't think Manchester's going to be. Well, mind you, there's quite a lot of free tickets being given out from Manchester, so I think if there's a free shit giveaways at stage, things like that, it is going to be Bedlam. Mm -hmm. um, which I will be sort of not... I'll have a mixture of my, my wee camera on me. Yeah. 
capture it in the game. But yeah, it's not needed. You know, at the end of the day, if somebody wants something for free, they're going to get something. For, you know, it's. You take your chances like everybody else. You don't snatch it out of someone else's hand. You don't punch people in the head, and you know you don't basically topple a woman out of a wheelchair just to get a, a flipping ten mil bottle. Going by the video, I have a fair idea of what that of what company that dick works for. Yeah, because apparently he was a vendor. Apparently this person was a vendor. So he works in the industry. He doesn't need to be clamoring for free shit like that. No, there's loads of stuff. The the main part of the, the page, as soon as you go on to the, Man or the Manchester one, is all is all vaping and all the stands with vaping and everything else. Yes, it mentions all the other activities that's happening as well. But everything that I've seen from it and all the Facebook posts is all about vape industry related stuff it's mm -hmm. been very little i've seen very very little about the stuff that's not vaping about the car drifting and bmx and, yeah because and... everything i've seen on facebook so far or instagram or twitter has all been about the vaping side of it still gonna be good though i'm looking forward to it I squared up to him and it looked like as though he was on something other than Aegis. Yeah, no matter what he was on, it was absolutely disgusting behaviour. Where the hell was the security? I saw people being chucked out of the expo, that's me for less. So. Yeah, because it just. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Who have we? Should it, should it or should it? Hello. Hello, Mumbles. Oh, he's just coming on. He's not speaking. Oh, we're getting the silent treatment. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Do I, guys? The talent has arrived. What are you talking about? The talent's been here the whole time. What, no smart hours to come in? That's not like you. You're slipping, son. Yeah, we do for some reason. Hold on. Let's see. Try it. Ah, you're muted. Hold on. <laughs> Unmute then. Unmute it to me. Okay. <laughs> Afternoon, Steve Davis. <laughs> Well, Back in a minute. I think it's something to do with uh, VC. Go on. Okay. <laughs> well, we did have Steve Dave on screen. Oh, who he will be know? back. He will be back. He's having uh, Total problems lack of with organization and Just a shit show, to be honest. Half the vendors of last year, and it was very small last year. That's because, I, in my personal opinion, Andy, it's because Tom left the company. Um, if you look at the advertising and the marketing compared to last year, there was none or very, very little. Tom did everything. He was on shows on the run up in the six months before it last year. Tom was on shows left, right, and center promoting it. Um, yeah. He was on Facebook. I'll call in Roy. Can we talk about some football? Uh, no, no, Tatley, this is a football free zone. He just wants to have a go of me of Manchester United being so shit this season, but that's grand. I'm, I'm, you know, I still support them no matter how bad they get, and they are really bad at the minute. They're poor, really poor. Yeah. There's that poor that Listen, I think you don't... Tottenham's going to beat them tomorrow night. Yeah, I hope. You know, and you don't need to talk to me about supporting shite football teams because I've been a lifelong Tottenham supporter. I, I know all about being on the shit end. <laughs> I did security bunny, he would have been took out the back and the out of set of cameras and the rest would be history. Colin, I'm with you, mate. <laughs> My news football free also. <laughs> well Colin, you'll get your chance. Saint even I wouldn't go that far. You'll get your ch you'll get your chance um at our expo. Because you're looking after security, so <laughs> And there'll be no free shit friends at the stage at our expo either. 
No, there won't. Mm. No, there won't. Mm. Control them. Mm -mm. Control them. No, there's ways of doing giveaways that you don't need to have everybody crowding around like that, falling all over themselves. Yeah. It'll not be done like that. And my way of doing it is giving them a raffle ticket as they walk into the building. So everybody will get. Most people will get something. Mm -hmm. but yeah, the free shit is getting sent straight to me. <laughs> yeah, you wish. If only sent. Yeah. Um, just looking at the list. It's not just fate, it's a lifestyle. Indoor attractions. I'm first, Troy. <laughs> <laughs> free shit brings the crowds it does but there's just different ways of doing it though um, so there's vapor lifestyle awards BMX displays skateboard displays graffiti including demonstration and displays break dancing vape tricks crowd competitions live bands and DJs including BBC One Charlie Sloss with his very own Sloss Lounge massive live stage with headline artists fire breathers grinding displays Right, that should be it now. Yeah, so it gets a free go in the stocks. <laughs> Hello. Hiya. Can you hear us this time? Yeah, the, the, I don't know what's up with VC. It's happened to me a couple of times where uh, the video comes through fine, but the sound, I can't hear any sound at all. So I've had to uninstall VC and reinstall VC just to get the sound working again. Yep, there we go. Center's in the house. Hi, Ian. Hi guys. Hi Senner. Hiya. Sounds like a hipster snowflake convention. <laughs> um, what else was there? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Um, yeah, you got to the you got to the grinding. Yeah, and lifestyle and Weber giveaways. Magician. Can you don't tell me you were working. Hi John. Cantina cocktail space bar. Yay. Meal grooming area. Area. Beard oils and argan oils. There you go, Steve. Dave, there's a stall for you. Tattoo, female beauty products, female beauty products even, sports apparel, branded clothing, retro clothing, nutrition st stalls, stilt walkers. Hey, there'll be people my height. Face painting, <laughs> cosplay, sci-fi props, a team van and Ghostbusters car, virtual gaming, retro gaming, gadget skills. I can see I'm going to have to bring my camera. Then outside. Outdoor attractions, you've got Emporium, Beers, Prosecco, Gin, Cider, Cocktail Bars, Street Food Court, smoker, Smoker's Ribs, Pizzas, Hog hog Roast, Chinese, Noodles, Organic, Waffles, Crepes, Juice Bar, Milkshake Bar, Adrenaline, Fun Fair Rides, Modified Cars, and Performance Cars and Drifting Displays, BMX Displays, Skateboard Displays, and Graffiti dis Demonstration and Display. And sorry, Saint says... Uh that Roy, you said man grooming area, so VH reviews can't go there. And Stephanie says that you will tire over the stilt walkers. <laughs> Hiya, Bill. I've given hey, you a Bill. I gave your coils hey, a good shout out at the beginning, Bill, if you had missed it. If anybody hasn't tried out the Rolling Fog coils, get in contact with them. Um, and if Saint's awake, you might actually put the link in. Go on, Saint, do your job. Where's where's super spanner when you need him? I know, right? Slacking off today. And Craig's not about either. I think Craig has fell out with. Yeah. I, I hadn't I hadn't heard from him for a while, and then all of a sudden he came in with the live streams. So so um, I think he's busy at the moment. Hey, Craig. Hi, uh, Craig. Yeah. But he got I, I sent him a message because. Not my whole giveaway. I did a while back there for liquids, just giving away liquids they were giving me. Uh, to do review on. Yeah. I said I hadn't heard anything, and then all of a sudden, I was like, "Yeah, I'm sending you liquids out." He said, "Oh yeah, no, not a problem, not a problem." He said, "Just send them out whatever way you want." So, ever since then, I've been hearing more from him. He's been poking me on Facebook. <laughs> so I don't like being poked on Facebook because I have to poke back. You like being poked in person. 
Yeah, so, you know. I, I, depends I'm, depends I'm, who's doing the poking. I, I'm a chubby guy, so, you know, a couple of pokes. That's the way it goes. Yeah. Where, where's my spanner? In the workshop. <laughs> Top drawer call. Um, Steve, what are you vaping on? Yeah. What am I vaping on? Uh, right, okay. Two seconds, two, sec two, two seconds. Roy, my last comment. Oh, what, what's his last comment? Les came up with a good idea for giveaways. Every time you buy something, you get a number of tickets for the amount you've spent. It makes it fair for the vendors and visitors. Yeah, that that is that's yeah, that's a good. Right. See, I, see, I was thinking more going down the route of you know you go to the stand, you know the way um, New Nicotine Alliance had to had a build kind of system where you 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 pay for a ticket like a ball ticket for the giveaway mm -hmm. and it's like multiple prizes so if you rather than having stuff thrown out you you know you either put down your name if you don't want to pay put down your name like just say put down your name on your uh phone number and they do a giveaway that way or the raffle ticket route it's a lot that's safer not, that's not a free giveaway though well sorry um, raffle uh, like raffle ticket without without paying i mean like but, Let's say they come up to the stand and they say, "Do you want a free free raffle ticket for the giveaway?" Yeah, for for the expo, the, what I'm thinking of doing anyway is that there is going to be a raffle route because I'm keeping the cost down for all the vendors. And all I'm going to ask them is to give a um, a prize each of the vendors to give a prize or prizes for the grand giveaway. Um, so then there will be tickets sold and that will be hopefully where I'm going to make the money for the charities is by yeah. selling the raffle tickets that way for the, for the prizes um, and then oh nature babe yep you can get it there that's the first place to get it the FP but then just for the normal giveaways everybody gets a raffle ticket and then at certain times throughout the day people will be called to the, called to the stage you know for Oh, if any of the companies are wanting to give up, do giveaways for their giveaway, then they'll go up to the stage and they'll pull tickets out of the the thing. They can still get a bit of hype up about it and everything else, and then yeah. by pulling a ticket out, and if the person's not there at that time to get it, well then tough, then they go to go to the next ticket. So it just it still gets the hype built up for the companies because that's the reason for the the giveaways is to get the hype. And when they go to the main stage to do things like that, it's promoting that company, it's getting the hype for that company and then showing the generosity of the company by them giving them giveaways. Um, so you need to try and keep that spirit of things going, but it's the ones that are doing the punching and, and hitting and smacking and knocking people out of the way and knocking people out of wheelchairs and everything sure. else just to get a free 10 ml bottle of juice or a bloody battery wrap. Yep, that's where the problem's coming in. You know, you can get the hype up. You can, you get the hype up, but try to do it in a safe way, rather than getting the hype up and then throwing ten more balls, as you say, free ten more balls. So that it's, uh, you could even go down the route of you know giving free ten more balls at the stand rather than throwing them out on the stage. So you go to the stand, going down the same route as what I was talking about in regards to raffle tickets That's and all. That's not getting the hype then for that company though, Steve. They do give stuff away at the stands anyway, normally. Yeah, yeah. But it's the main stage hype is getting the, is what's, what gets people and, you know, the bigger the, the bigger the hype, the more that company's name's going to stick in people's head. And that's the reason why they go down that route, is to get the hype um, and get yeah. people talking about their company and, oh, See it, we'll explain later. Um, and it's getting that hype for the companies. And when people walk away, oh, did you hear about company X gave away this and gave away that and gave away the other? You know, like the year I was, that first year I went purge, there was, there was a purge given away. Yeah. So, you know, as things like that, that was in mind. I'm assuming they're going to have to try to find some way to do it safely. They can still get the same hype that they can get from the stage, but do it in a safe way. Yeah, there's ways of doing things that um, people don't need to be carted off to hospital. 
Yeah. It's just a matter of trying to find out what what they can do, if they can still get the same hype, but do it safely. They closed London so. Apeshire early, 8pm, no admittance. 3pm. 3pm. No admittance and contact uh, LBS for a refund. That sure won't happen again. Well, not if yesterday was having to go by, Andy. I can't see it happening again. They closed it today at 3 p.m. or yesterday at 3 p.m. Um, that would have been today at 3 p.m. because it was after 3 p.m. whenever Mark and that was going live on the stage. It was 3 p.m. today. Yeah, must Let's have been. have a look. Check Facebook because I have Facebook open here. You can tell us talk talk away while I try to find this. Oh, cheers, Steve. Sorry, I'm just trying to find. Glad, glad we have your permission, boss. Anyway, <laughs> today. Yeah. So. I know. Well, if yesterday was anything to go by. That's as I say. That's what you know. People think that Tom. Um, you know, London Vape Show. Whenever I heard first heard Tom had left, and um, parted company with his dad. Um, I did. I had said at the time, and I actually even said to Tom, I can't see the, ba- the London Vape Show being a, a major success. Um, Chunk just put it in BUK in chat. You just put it in BUK in chat, right? Okay. Well, I can't see that, so. But. Yeah, it's, we never did get to hear what you were vaping on, Steve, Dave. Yeah, so um, I'm going uh, very e-leaf centric this week in Joytech. Um, yeah, using the Joytech Espen Infinite. On top of that, using the uh, Stream Clear Glass RTA, a um, bit of Cutwoods Boss Reserve, and that. Pretty what nice. Think, what do you think of the glass? I like it. it. It's you need to get your coils right to get the maximum flavor. If if you're building too high, people are saying to build the you know with the coily tool. Uh, people are saying with the coily tool to go to five millimeters on the leg lengths. I find you get a lot more flavor if you go four point five. Just take it down that extra point five millimeter. You get better flavor than what what you'll get at five millimeters. Uh, it, it's Pretty, pretty good kit. Pretty good uh, quality uh, material they're using in it. Uh, I've always smashed one of the glasses. Me being stupid, you know, had in my breast pocket, and I was like, "Wait, okay, I'll go get something from my bag." Bent down, forgot it was in my Crunch. pocket, fell out. Mm-hmm. Crunch, yeah. You sure it was so. getting something from your bag? Yeah, I was getting something from my bag because I, I forgot I was coming home from uh, work, and. I'm, you know the way I'm on that electric skateboard now and that. I shoved everything into my bag and I forgot to take my liquids out, put one of the liquids in my pocket. So, what? 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 That's over. Beca- hmm? Yeah. No, that he, he's thinking that's not the reason you were bending over and he's curious to know who was behind you at the time. And- Satan wants to know, VH, can you type all that down so we can understand it? <laughs> and Bill right. says 4.5 4, 4. to 5.5, depending on the internal di- diameter. Yeah, but I find you get more from 4.5. Um, people are saying 5.5. It's still good, good flavor, but you get it's uh, it's more concentrated towards the bottom of the coil compared to the top. Uh, 4.5, it's, it's basically hidden straight in the center so you're getting the air coming through the bottom and the top of the coil okay for those who didn't for those who didn't get it he's vaping on his glass and he's saying that to get better flavor from the coils that he's using to put them at four four point five instead of five because you get better flavor and it's because it holds into the center yeah basically so and um, I'm also using the E-Leaf Tessera. The what, E-Leaf, E-Leaf Tessera with the L-O-T-S tank. Uh, and not using a bit of Melon Twist, Watermelon Madness. The lots. Mm-hmm. The tes- Tessera. 
internal 150 watt battery. It's it doesn't have the same internal battery that's in the iPars, you know, the 80 watt iPar. Uh, but it's as close as you can get. It's like 3300 milliamp bar. So that's what I'm using. That's internal watt. Internal, internal battery. battery. Using, internal battery mode. Top on it. How come you're not working today, Steve? Dave, it's a Sunday. Uh, yeah, I, it I got day off. I actually, um, well, they're trying to give me weekends off now, so I do all week from Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday, and then that uh, comes at the end of a week. Yeah. And then Sat Saturday, Sunday, you know, the, about two to three days off. They're starting to give me two to three days off because I work, apparently I work too much. Give you two to three. So you work Monday to Friday and they give you two to three days off. What weeks have yeah. got your days in them? Yeah, well, they, they, they try to give me Monday. To, they try to give me Monday to Friday, but at the minute I'm, um, I worked Monday to Friday and I have uh, Saturday, Sunday and Monday off. That's and then, two days of this week and then one day of next week. Yeah, so I said to try to give me two to three days. But usually it's Monday to Friday. So how can you work five days and have three days off? Yeah, there's only seven days in a week. Yeah, but I said... <laughs> I said, well, I said, I'm so, it's, so basically what you're saying is some weeks you'll get two days off and some weeks you'll get three days off. No, yes. He still gets two right. days off in the week. The the third day's in the next week. But, what, I'm, what I'm saying is they tried to give me two to three days off. They tried to give me two, two to three days off. It's usually at the weekend. So I usually, with, usually most, most of the time it's two days. So the... Uh, Saturday and Sunday. And I do the Monday to Friday. But then there's the odd occasion where they give me three days. Uh, yes, it's going into next week, but it's still it's the odd occasion. Most of the time it's two days. <laughs> just stop. Yeah, just stop. <laughs> I'll just stop. It's all right, we get it. <laughs> well, I do. Anyway, I can't speak for the rest of these uneducated fuckwits, but, you know. Stop being a <laughs> Um, the thought for today, I get these lovely little random emails around again, but today's the thought for today, the only place success comes before work is in the dictionary. Okay. Yeah, and an explanation for that? Alphabetical. Ah, uh, okay. So you have to put in the hard work to get success, mm -hmm. basically. You just, right. you just don't get success without work. Mm -hmm. Right. If, if, if my interpretation was that the, you had to read a dictionary to, <laughs> before you could get a good job. <laughs> well, a good knowledge of the dictionary does help because you do need to have a decent grasp on the English language. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which is when people... And, and so what the fuck happened to you? So what the fuck happened to you? <laughs> I'll so. stop that, Roy. <laughs> well, have a bit. Have a bit. <laughs> just, just stop it. Just. No. I'm from Belfast. No one reads the dictionary here. Pardon? I'm from Belfast. No one reads the dictionary here. Pardon? Ignore him. He's being a smart arse. <laughs> the closest you get is people reading the, the Sunday Times. That's about it. Or even the Sun. Sunday Times, you give them way too much education there, pal. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not order from Lightning Vapes. My order cost £13.50 and I got hit with a £20 custom charge because they didn't mark the package right. Ouch. You can afford it though, Bill. You'll be a millionaire from these coils and squonks. Now, if your yeah, squonks Bill, had a, Bill's minted. Yeah, Bill, if, you're a prop, if your squonks came with proper cutouts at the proper place, then I would buy one off you. But because they don't, they come with those stupid little box things with the wee stupid holes where the finger has to go in to hit the squonk bottle. Not m much good to manage. What, like that? Piece. Yeah, like that fucking thing there. Yeah. The Sunday World and the Sunday Times. Well, they kind of made it worse by bringing the sun out on a Sunday now. <laughs> Does VH? Well, they had to because they had to do away with the news of the world. Remember? 
Um, there's a question for you, VH, in chat. Do you do, you do written reviews to go with your YouTube reviews? No, that I, I rely on YouTube trying to capture me the right way. So. Yeah, we've all seen uh, Vex closed captions. Yeah, but it, Vex isn't as bad as mine. Yeah, yeah yours are crazy. <laughs> mine are crazy. So. Yeah. So it's something like it was a Hitler vaping and butt Nazi, buttholes Nazi, or something like that. Yeah, Nazi. But, buttholes and uh, Nazi tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> Nazi buttholes. <laughs> Nazi buttholes. I don't mine off. I do it from time to time when when, you know, when they get bored and work. You know, I've done all. Yeah, the and you want and, and you want to giggle. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Two. One could be easily modified, that's why they're called custom. Mm. No, it's not everyone else's fault you've got huge hands, like those huge sponge hands. You get used to. Yeah, you know the big foam ones like Kenny Everett used to wear? Yeah. <laughs> I pissed out the back hole, that was it, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> piss out the back hole. Get me a coat for a proper. A squunker with a proper cutout. Something along the lines of that. Do you know, talk about squunkers? Have you seen that new one? That's been announced. The, the one that looks like the double barrel? Yeah. You fell from the top? Yeah. I really like mm -hmm. the look of that. I like the look of that as well. So, it's going to be interesting to see whether that, how it actually performs. Because all they're doing is yep. putting the, the tube across across the top of it into where the 510 is and the battery sit underneath it it's a fantastic idea so therefore you're not having to bring out the squonk bottle you're not having to try to squeeze a soft squonk bottle to you know, put it back in um, yeah, do you want aluminium or 3d printed get me a yeah. for both bill please but that's not the this this one is, the, is not the, or it's the actual one from, um, I can't remember the name of the company. Roy, the hole for squunking is in the wrong place in that mo It's not, that's the perfect place. No, your finger goes right round. Your button there, oh, your button. Yeah, hold it on camera. Yeah, your button's there to um, fire it with. And you get your finger just to squeeze there. What more, trying to get your finger round and into there and no thank you yeah I'll, I'll just stick with this one with the squonk wall on the back yes folks because roy is too lazy to do this when i'm driving i can't do that <laughs> <laughs> okay when you're driving here's how easy it is look look at the, look at the amount of fiddling you had to do to get your finger around to there i have i don't have I don't have to do any fiddle, and all I had to do was twist. Yeah, twist. I have, I have said. Oh, heaven forbid! Heaven forbid! You have to twist a mod. I have said. Oh my God! In hand, said, said mod, in, said mod in hand, finger round, squeeze, and fire. How? <laughs> no twisting. Just driving, twisting. Let's see. <laughs> Eighty-two pound three D print, a hundred pound aluminium single. Whoa. Roy, go to Turnwood FX tonight and get one of those swap on the world. Get, get your wallet out tight, get. <laughs> Shouldn't be driving and squonking and vaping, keeping your eyes on the road. I keep my eyes on the fucking road, don't use my eyes to vape, no. <laughs> Hand on steering wheel, hand on mod, no problem at all. Make sure window is down. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, he does. Drives the window down. I seen you dog post squonk that mod with a refill. Yeah, that's one we were talking about, and I think it looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. I looked mm -hmm. at it today. Yeah, it absolutely fantastic. Anything you in the shop, Steve, Dave? Uh, well, we recently got the contract back for UKVB, so we have nice. every 
we have everything eLeaf and Joytech coming in. Um, we're in the process of getting two new ranges in. One of them you probably would have tried at um, uh, Fape Expo. Uh, the, the French company uh, did the really lovely uh, Christmas cookie and cream. I wouldn't have tried that one it's like Sunny Vapors. They're coming in. Wick Liquor's coming back in. I'll be back in the next week or two. Nice. Um, we're mainly kind of focusing on the starter kits at the moment. Saints? Why have you deleted Bill's message? All oh, right, no, he was trying to delete his own and it jumped up just as he hit the delete button and it's deleted bills instead. Yo, Casey! Hey! <laughs> and yeah, we both got you on camera yesterday, kid. <laughs> How do you change gear with both hands in the wind? Exactly, Mr. Summerfield. Exactly. Well, unless he's driving around in the car that uses the paddles. Or the automatic. Flappy paddle gearbox. Flappy paddle gearbox. Which is actually even more dangerous for driving with because then all you're trying to steer with, all you're steering with is your thumbs and you're not holding the steering wheel. Mm-hmm. Mm. Viewpoint. Mm-hmm. And plus, Just I was go taught how to drive a car with one hand. Flappy panel, well, panels, paddles. You not mean saints? He hasn't. He, he's put that in flappy panels. Flappy panels. <laughs> flappy, flappy Flappy panels. That has in piss flaps. Right. <laughs> 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 at finger reach, Roy. Exactly those saints. But you still take your fingers off the steering wheel to put them behind the flappy paddles to, to do them. So you're driving your thumbs. Yay, there's the leprechaun. Hi, hello, Shane. Ah, top of the morning to you now, Shane. Oh, Hi, for fuck's sake, no, here it goes again. How are you, how are you today? You what? <laughs> I'm from Dublin. Oh, shut up. <laughs> you not seen, you not, not seen the way, you, way you seen your face before. <laughs> I taught I taught you the way you've seen your visit. Right. What? Stop it. Stop what? <laughs> Butcher in the Irish language, please. Fuck my horn shall I dare be. Give me the full ship. Yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> Is that what I was bad? Yeah, yeah. It's alright, you can cast mine too. Seeing Kid me the full ship. <laughs> No, I'm trying to trying to be like VHC. <laughs> See how I am. <laughs> the funny thing is, I can actually understand what you're saying. <laughs> so the only way to safely drive with a vapor is to get an automatic car. The only way to safely drive as a vapor is have someone that doesn't vape drive. <laughs> yeah. Well. That could work. That could work as well. It's just trying to find someone that <laughs> is another. Right, open. Casey, that's enough of that. Casey, all I can say is, um, Peggy Warren. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Monkeys are go, far better. There you go, Steve. I've just sent you a message. On, on the chat. Yeah. Did he? What is that about? I don't know. Mumble. Yeah. <laughs> the message hasn't come up. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I agree, Roy. It's on screen, on chat. All right, sorry. I'm, Are you I'm, still on top chat, you muppet? No, I'm not. No, no. I, I seen it. Yeah. No, I seen. I seen it. I thought he actually said. Thought he sent me a message on PC. Uh, yeah. Mumble. Yeah, uh, Casey, all I can say is, who got best in show on Wednesday night? Big the awards guns. speak Big for themselves, that. my friend. Big Guns is not that, not that, Casey. No, wrong, Casey. 
This guy's first name is Casey, not surname Casey. What happened to Casey? I was trying to send a, uh, a boy to him the other day, but I couldn't find him on Facebook at all. He's deleted everybody off Facebook. Right. Yeah. So, we're, we're not uh, discussing that on air, though. We'll talk to you about that after. Oh, uh, no. Uh, just someone was looking at Falcon Coins and said, uh, Yeah, I know a boy. And couldn't find him. But, right. Don't be sorry about guns. Don't worry about it. But, um, yeah. So, how's Belfast today? Uh, same as every day. Pissing down. Measurable? Yeah, measurable. That's <laughs> hey. It is. Surprisingly, it came out of the blue. So, it was all sunny, and, and then next minute, pissing right. down heavier. We got yesterday in Lauren, too. Yeah. Folks, so, stood, stood in glorious sunshine, melting one minute, drunk rat the next. And then melting again. Mm. Uh, I felt, and then melting again. I felt sorry for the boys in Antrim. I thought there was going to be an hour post coming up and said Tesco was being flooded again. I believe it was chopping it down quite hard there. Yeah. The noise is up there. Because it's up in the hills, isn't it? Yeah, but it's Antrim. It's a measure of a hole. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sun's out in Port Glen, Yen. Say summer, that's my call. <laughs> if you're looking to buy just online from a good good Northern Ireland um, reputable company, love to vape. Put the link yes. Um, we went we went and visited their new shop yesterday while we were in Lorne. They have moved location, and I have to say, we shops looking fantastic. It is good range of bods in there, good range of juices, and mm -hmm. got their own for play juice. to for play to Paul and Colin. They've done a great job. Yep, and they have. They had a bit of an epic disaster yesterday, though, didn't they? Yeah, they did. It's pissing down in Sussex and Surrey, and they hire you in two places at one time. Border boy. Yeah, boy. Don't tell me you're watching the stream while driving, are you? No. No, bad boy. <laughs> no. That's bad boy. Perhaps, <laughs> perhaps, 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 as you say, to go to the border of Sussex and, and Syria and, and bungee jump between the two of them. Is Sussex and Syria in the same place? I, I think... I, think Andy, I was right, Andy lives on the border. Or you meant Surrey, Steve? I said Surrey. I thought you said Syria. No, Surrey. S yeah, I'm mobile. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Yes. Never noticed. Liar. <laughs> you may have heard, but didn't notice. <laughs> I definitely heard Siri. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder whose iPhone iPhones went off when I said Siri. No, nah. not mine because I don't have one of those piece of crap things. There they are. Woohoo! I get my yeah. new phone next week. I've I'm already got my new phone. Phones. Which one to get? Anybody any help? I've got a choice between a LG V30, LG V7, or the Huawei... Huawei. What? Huawei. Huawei. P20. P20 Pro. P20 Pro. I get the Huawei Honor 10 and I absolutely love it. I think, I, I think the P20 Pro, they've mainly worked on the camera, trying to get it Better quality, the best megapixels. quality they can. Camera's amazing. Forty megapixel camera. Yeah, forty <laughs> megapixel. Yeah. Yeah. That's oh, that's what they're all their advertising was about. It. They're it was in regards to getting the best quality pictures as you could. But apparently their software. Stephanie agrees to P twenty Pro, but apparently their software in it is pretty crap. It's so, it's, 12, it's, it's Samsung Galaxy. It's why. 
Huawei. So, uh, Huawei. 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 <laughs> it's Huawei. They, they, haven't, they haven't really got the best software. But it's, not, you, it's, it's what uh, I use the Huawei Honor 10 and I have no problems with the software at all. The only None. thing I don't like, well, one of the things I don't like about the, uh, the P20 Pro is it actually has a physical button on it in the front. I've got so used to, you know, I've got the LG G, what's the G5? G6, isn't it? That's the G5 I have. G5 with no um, button on it, no physical button on it whatsoever. And it's just got the two volumes and then the button at the back for your um, fingerprint. fingerprint. Yeah. I've got so used to that and the knock on, knock off facility on that is amazing. Um, so I don't, you know, going away from LG. Probably take me too much to get used to again. I'm getting too old. That's why I like my phone. I'm going around with the OnePlus. So um, that big guns wants the Poco F1 by. Um, now you're showing you're just you working a bloody. It's pronounced Xiaomi. <laughs> you're looking. You're, you're looking. You're, you know, you're just because you work in a bloody mobile phone shop or sorry, cellular phone shop. Big guns. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Darren. <laughs> <laughs> now this is going to be on making a 126 volt 90 uh, amp battery out of 9, nine. Oh, Bill for Jesus sake man where's all the iPhones Tetley they're shit I will never have an iPhone what's all that phone twaddle Where's your all your iPhone? I, wouldn't, I would never have an iPhone around me ever since I worked for Orange. I um, had an iPhone once. I will never have one again. Um, whenever Apple first actually came out with the iPhone, they came to Orange. And I got to play about with it. And it wasn't compatible with all the Orange software at the time. With Orange, things like Orange Wildfire. Uh, Wildfire. Um, uh, Apple do Apple do that on purpose, but to make you pay to get the compatibility program. But no, Orange. This is way before Apple actually brought the iPhone. This was this was about a year before Apple actually brought the iPhone out. Um, and O2 was the first to release it because they ended up going with O2, but they wanted to go with Orange. And I worked for Business Customer Services Tech Team at the time, and it didn't. It was like, eh. Don't like it, and never had it, and I've never had it since that. And then with iPhone locking you down to everything that's Apple. See, I thought it was just too much hassle trying to convert your MP3s to the format that Apple use, you know, for the iTunes. Yeah. You're know, literally having to import everything into iTunes and convert it to to that. Ah, uh, you can't just send it directly from your computer to uh, your iPod or your iPad or your phone. You have to put it through iTunes so that it converts it first. Yeah. So whether you want it or not, you have to download iTunes. Yeah. Biscuits, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that because the iPhone is the Samsung S six in disguise. Basically, it's got all the, the new iPhones, including the iPhone X, has got the fun same functionalities as the iPhone or the as the Galaxy S six had. So they're that far behind. Hey, Gilly. Hey, Gil. Hey, Gil. Roy, right, Apple have been refusing to play nicely with others since the start. Exactly, Andy. And yeah, because it's you, all about that, Andy. The fact that you can walk into somebody, you can walk up to somebody and be go, "Have you got an Android charger?" You don't have to walk up and say, "Have you got a Samsung charger?" Do you have a blah 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 charger? But if you walk up to somebody, you've got an iPhone, an iPhone charger. Well, is it an iPhone four, is it an iPhone five, or an iPhone six? You know what charger you need? Do you need the Lightning one? Do you need the Apple one? Do you need the other one? Because they changed it just to make the money after everybody started bringing out iPhone products that you could use your iPhone with. Yeah. And the reason that iPhones are the biggest iPhones are the DNA of the phone world of the phone world. Yeah. But if the if the iPhone is only the iPhone looks like a bigger seller because it is just the iPhone, an iPhone five, iPhone six, iPhone whatever. But if you take on all Androids grouped together because they all use the same software, they would they outstrip iPhone sales anywhere. Samsung hmm. makes the chips for the iPhone, so who's ki who's kidding who here? Yeah, exactly, big guns. 
Oh, Gail says if she disappears, it's because they've lost signal, because they're in the highlands at the minute. Enjoy yeah. the highlands and the lowlands. You're out in a scooby run. It's because she's using an iPhone as well. Aye, but... Saint says it's because she's got an iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. No, I'm oh. Android all the way. Yeah, it's damn just changed it. Um, and the the C. The last the last few models. models yeah. The last few models of Samsung phones that have come out have been uh, USB C. LG G five was the very first one to bring that's, out. That's a C Are charge as well. The reason Are you sure what's C on? is because you can you don't have to worry about which way up you put in the charger. It works both ways in the same way up, and that's why all Androids now, all new Androids, are moving to the C C type charger. I thought it was OnePlus, with their dash charge. No, it was that. Oh, it was that, right. Because that came out two months before the OnePlus. Yeah, I know there's massive talks about the dash charge on it. You know, it's a oh, new port, dash charge, charge up your phone in 45 minutes an yeah, hour. that's the fast charge. But the, the C-Type is not just the fast charge. The C-Type is just because the charger can go any way up. Yeah. So. It's an absolute nightmare to try to find them. If we do lose one, trying to find one is absolutely awful. Unless you find a big supermarket now. The chips and the memory. Bill, they actually do make, Samsung do actually make um, some of the chips that go into it, into the iPhone. Oh. Dan has an Android and he's, he's losing it too. I can show you yeah, he's loading the signal. Gil, your yeah. iPhone's I, they're up, they're up in the arsehole don't know where there's no, you know, signal up there. Samsung changed last year with the S8. Yeah, but that came out two years ago, Andy. This is two year old now. The LG G5 is on the G7 now. I can only change yeah. one every two years. They make both screens and chips, not the main ones though. Just the feed subs it used to be so big and then after what happened with the whole battery problem, you know, the exploding batteries and all that I don't think they've gained back the popularity that they had before that. Well, I find that hard to believe because like you just have to walk around town here and you see people using their phones and the biggest majority of them are Samsung's. Yeah, the biggest majority is Samsung because, you know, essentially oh, it, yeah. Sorry, sorry, Steve. No. Oh, okay. what, 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 what oh. one, Gail? What one? Oh, I'll have to wait 20 seconds for the delay. And then the, no. then, then the iPhone to yeah. kick into life with the chat. And then... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I totally, no. totally agree, Biscuit. They've, uh, they've come on leaps and bounds for a, a company that started out as a budget phone provider. They have really yeah. come on leaps and bounds. That's... Oh, uh, Hawaii. 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 <laughs> I, thought, I thought we were talking about Samsung. Oh, Tom, uh, Tommy's moved out. Oh, bless him. Uh, well, wish him a, all the good luck and. All the hairy chest. Yeah. I'm assuming he's moving somewhere by our signal. <laughs> <laughs> Gail, does that mean does that mean the Zan gets the studio? <laughs> Yeah, does that mean Zan gets a man cave? But um, I love VH with his plush red curtains. So, plus, I, I, I'm actually need to get on the J because he he was posting up about these uh, these kind of things to tell you about your subscribers and your views and all that. So that the like. J? Like a kind of clock thing or something like that? Yeah, the LED. Yeah, the LED thing, yeah. I need to get on to him. I don't have a big enough subscriber count to worry about having one of those. <laughs> yeah, but still, I know it's Huawei, just messing about. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't, you know, if I was having, you know, like, something like Vic, where your numbers are completely changing every day, you know, going up, then yeah, it'd be nice to have something like that up behind you. But whenever I'm getting one subscriber every six months, you know it's. <laughs> yeah, well, it's it's mainly to try to try to change up the ending. You know, it's like a 
Come on, 196 at the moment. So that, something like, yeah, the, the Fiat's reviews or Fiat Panther, one, 186 subscribers and growing every day, you know. That's a lie. Feel free to subscribe. That's a lie. Uh, well, uh, the, the, you know, when it gets into it, I mean, growing, when... Grow, grow, growing every week or month? Growing every month, day. yeah. So, it, it just, it'd just be... Or is that your waistline? So, it's just been enough suffering to put off to the side and see that actually people are watching the videos. <laughs> Danny did nine six one. Danny, your stint on um, UK. I, on, yeah, all along we Vic and Mark and that, yeah. I really am surprised though that he hasn't hit the thousand yet. I really am. I thought he would have smashed that by now. But yeah, I'm quite surprised as well. I mm -hmm. keep, I keep going up, getting near the two thirty, and then drops back down again, then goes back up again, then back down again. And what do you think? This other, there's another reviewer. I've seen a couple of posts out that got a thousand subs in one day. I, I bet you he paid for them. I can't remember who it was. I was going back and seeing what, what they're at now after YouTube has settled down and... Yeah, if you aren't sub to him, get across there and sub to Danny. But I dare say most people in here at the moment, at the moment are. Stephanie, have you subscribed to Danny? If not, why not? Oh, I thought you were talking about the guys on cast. Oh, I, by all means, go and sub st to Steve Dave as well. And... And to Roy. I definitely will. Roy's the host, so that goes without saying. And to Bunny, even though she has nothing up on the channel. I don't do reviews, so <laughs> you don't feel the need to sub to me, because there's never content on my YouTube anyway. So. MBK's 1,000 giveaway went live today. Too, so. ah, well, there you go. So It's right up above you, Stephanie. MB MBK Vapor Reviews. Go sub. Um, Saint had put it in the link. In. Mm -hmm. Yes, and... Put in Steve Dave's and Roy's links as well, please. Got Steve Dave's in there yet? No, I think mine's just mumble. <laughs> is it? <laughs> uh, no, it? It's not a link, it's just like mumble. It's like a mumbling all the way. <laughs> I'll have to go look at Where's Nightbot? Where have I got Nightbot? Uh, and don't forget to <laughs> unsub from VH when you get the chance saying, come on. You can do a saying. And, and sub twice. Click twice, so. <laughs> yeah. I no, I think I don't even think I have one. So yeah, that's yeah, yeah, I love yeah. to go on mumbling. I love to go on mumbling, <laughs> mumbling all the way. <laughs> that's the edge one. Oh, yeah, I'll need to change this. I'll get this changed. The edge. I'll change this. I've <laughs> seen you, Dick. <laughs> So what was it? Uh, was it last week or two weeks ago? It was like mess about mumble. It's like I like the mumble mumble. I like the <laughs> mumble. <laughs> you should get that at your uh, opening. <laughs> I'm I'm actually trying to change up as I go. So and, uh, it's kind of weird. I try putting music in the background of my face. It's like a like a small little layer of music in the background and I went to sleep woke up and I lost like two or three subscribers I was like no nah, that's not going to happen music out it's it's test, still testing out the channel even though I've had for like a year now still test it out as it goes it's a learning curve but it's yeah. not every, like when it comes to that sort of stuff every day is a school day yeah But I know I had the pleasure of Council of Vapor using my video on their website. Well done. Nice. Yeah, I, 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 can't the, I got a message from Brew. Your daddy says, I don't know if you're aware, but Council of Vapor using your video on their website. I said, like, well, I wasn't aware of that. It's the, the one for the DTK kit. Is that the, the, wee black, the wee black and yellow the wee, one? The wee black and yellow squonker, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Um, no. I like that wee mod. I don't make reviews. I record reviews. 
Yeah, I'd love to see Saint Dune reviews. It would just be an epic troll fest. <laughs> out with a new person doing a review, maybe. <laughs> a new person in front of the camera. Two. Test what out? Test out with a new person doing the review, maybe. <laughs> so it's change change it up. But, but then you're, 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 miss, you're miss my lovely face. On my phone regularly with VR uses gyro sensors recording these high quality camera face recognition. Yeah, I use quite a lot of the processing in, in, in the LG. So. That's the whole reason why I went on to the OnePlus, because we're using Snapdragon. Saints, I make you this promise now. If I ever see you at an expo or meet you in real person, I will record you and get you on camera and get you on YouTube. I make this yeah, solemn I make this I make this <laughs> solemn vow today. The twenty sixth. Yeah, exactly August, exactly her saying he's a worse. At three fifty seven on Sunday the 26th of August 2018 I solemnly swear to capture Saint on camera Yeah, Roy reviewed my coils a couple of days ago so I can't say he doesn't do reviews anymore lol says Bill <laughs> yeah, and he featured my review on his page Oh, Colin's just ran out of Cola Slushy. Eh? Yeah, I'll stick around Cola Slushy. He doesn't know where you are, but he will find you and he will video you even if you're in the shower at the time. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he's been, uh, Darren, he's been taking tips from Aries as to where's the best places to put the hidden cameras, you know? As you know, is... I already said I probably won't make an expo. You will see an ex sometime, somewhere, someplace, you will make an expo. And I will just bloom and hunt you down. Simple as that. I'm from Northern Ireland. I have skills. <laughs> Liam Neeson has taught me well. <laughs> Why are you so scared for people to see who you are, Saint? That's what I'm curious Can about. I just go onto his Facebook and take a picture and put a picture of him up. No. Yeah, but he uses a clown for his profile picture on Facebook, so... I have 720ml bottles of pink lemonade, he just told you. And Hersine says, no, no vids of Saint in the shower ever, I don't have the eye bleach. <laughs> no, stop being unkind to Saint. He's a good big man. Hello, doggy. Yeah, that's my lovely <laughs> Labrador Retriever. It's six years old. Saint is really Kelvin. Oh. Hey, Bye. I think Saint's a joint. Uh, yeah, twelve. I think so too. It's been seven years since someone got a picture of me last. Well, it's like this saying, I don't like being in front of a camera either. I'd much rather be behind one. And if I can do this shit every week, there's no reason why you can't, pal. That's a price I'm still loud in front of a camera. Is <laughs> 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 Not true, Andy, because I've got pictures of you and none of my cameras broke. I wonder if that's... Hey, Michelle. Is that Michelle B? It is. And hey, Michelle. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. How are you?
Yeah, exactly, Saint. So if you don't have a soul to begin with, why are you worried now? Oh. <laughs> and Tetley Man's only nervous was he, when he's in front of her camera with clothes in fault. Oh, so okay. you're a regular on Chatterbait then? <laughs> And I think I think a meagle. I think he's more he's more of a meagle person. What? A what? A meagle. He's not being. It's like those um. Remember going on a couple of years ago. Uh, it's like um, you put up a fake username or something, and you start chatting to people on on video like video chats. Ninety nine percent of the people are you know, guys with their members out. Right. Well, you, 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 you get the you get the you get the you get the odd person who just sits there and have a chat and all that. You can talk about certain subjects and all that. It's like if it if they don't like you they just pass you on. They just pass up on you. Totally the cunt doesn't even do that yeah. for me. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like chat roulette. It's just a, a different version of chat roulette. So welcome back, back, Gail. No, welcome the whole back, reason I, the back whole back. reason I stopped going there because it was like nine point five percent. There was people who remember it's like, oh, me, Gail, you can actually talk a bit more. So was, I think you spend more than the one with the members out. No, no, no. Well, no, it was too much of a sausage fest for him. Yeah. So it's gets weird after a while. Well, when you're with mates and you have a couple of drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, stop there. They just stop. stop. I'm at loss for words. <laughs> Do. I don't have a measuring tape in your room. No. Good. Do. I don't it's have all right, a measuring tape. It's alright, babe. We all know you do. Yeah, totally. no. <laughs> I don't have a measuring tape, but I have this. Always get calibers. <laughs> I got oh, calibers. I I, try, I tried out calibers once before and I keep forgetting to use them. Uh, the trust hell? me, Gail, you you really don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, Andy, I don't really know. <laughs> I'm, I'm admitted to uh, having a couple of drinks with mates and going on to the likes of Omegle. And getting your bits out. And, no, not getting yeah. my bits out, no. Yeah. Go, no, going on there and having fun chatting to people <laughs> while pissed. Uh, is that what you call it nowadays? Having fun. <laughs> that, you know, flipping, flipping through all all those boys and just turning up in other people. <laughs> Flip. <laughs> you broke them. You have, you have completely broke them. <laughs> so you have, you killed it for God's sake. You've killed the host. <laughs> Andy, <laughs> Steve Dave's connection's gone. What a pic- what a picture to freeze on. You've got a screenshot that. Uh, I can't do something about it. Somebody's making computer does the screenshot. Oh dear. No, no flash. He flashes enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got to mean that. <laughs> so, Vaping Bruce says, So, golden showers on the internet, video chat is what Steve Dave and his friends get up to. <laughs> Darren, with that boy, nothing would surprise me. <laughs> He's doing the hand movement as well. 
<laughs> oh, poor Steve. <laughs> cheeky boy face there. <laughs> yeah, he has. Oh, God. Yeah, I think I think uh, Steve Dave has just outed himself. Yeah, he has. <laughs> oh, my God. The more he's set, the more he's digging himself into. I know, that hole was just getting deeper. I'm just leaving. I'm not taking that picture off. I'm just going to leave it there. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> oh. So funny. No bother, Gail. <laughs> Darn, go wash away. Yes, because I'm not going to be there Friday night, uh, Darren is going to be an honorary bitch for the evening and he will be joining Gail on the Bitches of Eastwick. So he has to he has to get his wig washed and get his lipstick done and he has to paint his nails as well. If if the internet connection holds up, if we've got a good enough internet connection, you could call into the show for a bit. Yeah, I might do. I'll have to remember to download VC onto my new phone. Yeah. Because I haven't got it on the new phone yet. Um, I have it on the Samsung, but I haven't got it on the. Yeah, so if we get a good enough internet connection out there in Manchester, which I think we should do because it's near Old Trafford. Um, you could call in for a wee bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure I could. Give it an extra bit of a, a, a kick. He can just buy some some. He can just buy some sticky on ones from Primark for a pound. So. Yeah, nails. No, 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 Michelle. If Darren's going to do this, it's going to be done properly. He has to paint his nails. He loves the job putting brew on dodgy, dodgy memes. So we host Nancast at the same time? Uh, yep. I'm actually enjoying this. The more I vape this, um, this is why I don't do, like doing reviews you know, straight away from just tasting stuff and I have to vape them for a while. Because the um, flavour profile of this. Um, Pretty pastels has, has changed slightly. Just speaking. Yeah, sometimes you let them stick for a while, they taste better, and sometimes not so much. Mm. But yeah, I'm also looking forward to the weekend to seeing my son, who hasn't joined us in chat in a long time. Yeah, he's not been about, has he? No. But I still get the occasional Snapchat message from him, but yeah. I haven't like I haven't spoke to him on VC for a good couple of weeks now. But, uh, he's coming up with his mate, Josh. That's good. I can traumatize Bob the Builder some more. I love winding him up. He's too easy to wind up. Yeah, but you better not wind me up. Aye. You need to rise above it, there. Play him, at, play him at his own game. So Saint, Saint has changed his profile picture. Let's go and have a giggle. Show me the clown. Yeah, it's still showing me the clown as well. Uh, Graham, you've changed the wrong one. Oh. Yeah, no, it's still showing me the clown. Tell them, porkies. Try pressing save. Oh, 
Oh, he says it was YouTube. Oh, YouTube. I haven't got you on YouTube. You're not subscribed to him. But it should show up in the chat. You know how it has everybody's wee pictures down the side in the chat window? It's not. It's still showing the clown on the YouTube chat as well. Um, YouTube's not changed it yet. Mm-hmm. That's never you saying. Plus that picture's too small to see. Nothing wrong with you seeing it whatsoever. No, no, it's nothing at all. I'm not embarrassing you putting it on the screen. Click to go to see this channel, it shows the new pick there. Yeah, it has now. Change it now, Saint, so it was nice in you. Yeah. You could go and cast no problem at all. Roy, the picture isn't small, you just haven't put your glasses on. <laughs> I would have done Roy. You'd have done what? Come on, cast. No, we're speaking riddles again. And where did you get the monkey from? Right, and the process of dropping to 48 gauge for wrap wire on fused coils, which is a quarter of the diameter of what he's using now. Okay. Okay. That picture on holiday. Put Sin on screen. No, no. Oh, oh, you would have put Sin on screen. No, I don't. Yeah, the last they want us to. Oh. Steve Dave's gone. He won't be back. He called in and then dropped off. Nah, if you want to pick up, go for it. Okay. Okay, let's see this in. Right, okay. Yeah, um, Ruder to say, want to restore itself. Well, welcome back. I'm happy to be back. Welcome back. Ba, 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 ba. See, I thought I thought I might have caused him to end my broadcast because I saw was him running off screen and the, the entire thing. Just... <laughs> no, you just totally broke him. It didn't matter. Uh, the more you said about that like chat thing, the more broke he became. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think he's on. I think he, it looks like he's on the verge of laughing again. Uh, no, he's actually trying to put a picture of Saint Cunty McFuck off on screen. Because uh, we're all curious to know what uh, Saint actually looked like, so he went and changed his profile picture deliberately. So he's now trying to get the picture to put it on screen to let the rest of the world see it. 
to a nine-year-old, a nine-year-old picture of him on holiday. I'm a bit worried now. Is it gonna be PG? Apparently, he's got a monkey. <laughs> a monkey. <laughs> I wonder if he's gonna spank it. I take it it's not letting you put it up then? It's not displaying it on screen. I'm assuming you're using OBS, are you? Yeah. So, make sure it's the right format. Nothing wrong with that at all. I slide you off enough. Yeah, so you know, now we've uh, now we know what you look like. There's nothing stopping you from putting your face. You've just put your face out there. You've done it once. It gets easier. Trust me. Stroking the monkey or spanking the monkey? Stroking the monkey. Stroking the monkey? Oh, well, you'd okay. like them to spank the monkey, but that's beside the point. <laughs> it depends what happens a couple of seconds after our picture, whether it decides to jump on it or not. And now, folks, this is the only time you'll ever see me on cast. Uh, Saint? No. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. You've got to come on. No. So, who's I the ugly guy you. holding Saint in the picture? <laughs> That, that, I'm just going to leave that <sighs> now on every cast. That's just going to sit down there in the corner like that. <laughs> That's cruel. That's Saint playing with his monkey. Yeah. No, like I say, Saint, if I can do this stuff every week, if I can do it, anybody, anybody can do it. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Yeah. I think we should get Michelle on sometime as well. Oh, I agree. Michelle B. Mm. Stephanie, we've had big guns on, we've had Noel on, we've had Colin yeah. on. Yeah, we've had, yeah, we've had Danny. Bill. Michelle. No! <laughs> <laughs> At least don't use your photograph for Halloween advertising mine. Oh, Andy, stop that. We've even seen Bloody Sinner on cast. Exactly. It's on here though. But yeah, but Senator, Senator jumped on with us with Gerber for the epic of an hour a few weeks ago. You can do it. Bite his freaking head That's a little Nicky reference. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> I love that movie. Nearly <sighs> foot time. Yep. Yay. Big Gun says, as soon as he gets his connection sorted, he'll be back. Who said that? Big Guns. Big Guns, yeah. <laughs> I miss my Big Guns. <laughs> On camera, that is. But I need to get Bill on as well. What are you drinking? Me? Yeah. Coffee. Um, yeah. Is, is it coffee or alcoholic? It's coffee. But you see, Darren, that's how you clean a cup. 
it, it's. You can change your picture back all you want. I've got it screen captured, so. What is it? Cafe latte? No. Or cafe de la? It's French for co- milk coffee? Yeah. Or whatever they call Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Gold blend for the win. It's actually that wee pod system thing, isn't it? You know, we put the wee coffee pods in. Oh, gosh. The, the crups. The crups. It's not posh, you got it in Tesco, so 20 quid. Corrupts. Corrupts. It's in too late, it's permanently in the corner of cast now. Yeah, it is, Andy. <laughs> yep. Why clean the mug to get dirty next time you refill it? Well, what happens if you want to go from coffee to tea? You don't. You don't, you use a separate mug. I quite like Kinko Rich. That's not bad, Michelle. My dad uses it. Yeah, Kinko's not bad. I like the gold blend. Plus, I like actually grinding my own beans up. And... The one coffee I really hate, Red Mountain. Yeah, it's disgusting. And if you want any reviewers, they'll remove it. For God's sake, see it. I'm on cast, so I still get the odd couple of viewers coming in. Yeah, if they let me on it. God's sake, it lets me on every week. You let Jesus in. Oh, you have to let him in. No. You don't? No. Oh, okay. Right. Mandy, Bri- Bri hasn't been in front of the camera for a while. Wasn't that long ago we had in front of the camera? He, w- he will be in Friday night. Oh, he has to be. He has to be. He has to be on Friday night. Very the old pink wig. No, he's watching the red one, I think. The red one? Mm -hmm. Is that the Halloween one? The special Halloween red one? It disturbs me more that Brew has got a wig in the first place, but to have more than one. I'll just get several. That disturbs me. He might be joining. Does that mean he'll be joining in with um, VH's parties? Quite possibly. Quite possibly. That's a that's a disturbing thought as well. <laughs> no, I keep the... That's what make um Expo next May quite interesting. I want it just. That's so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what happens at Expo stays at Expo. Just saying. <laughs> Unless everybody in here decides to have a discussion about it like we did with my ex. <laughs> well, it's kind of hard not to have a discussion about you know. Yeah, considering 90, 90% of the people in chat were there. Yeah. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever seen TVP decide he wants to pole dance. <laughs> <laughs> Chris pole dancing was epic. <laughs> And I've perfect. never seen it. That, that slut drop, that was just perfection. That. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, bring on the lizard liquors? But um, it's the first time I've ever ever go. Is this um, Bacardi or JD? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, imagine not being able to tell the difference between Bacardi and Jack Daniels. And he calls himself a drinker. Amateur. Amateur. Well, Auntie, if it's all good in the same way, you don't care what, what it tastes like. Yeah, but it's just nice to know what you're actually drinking. <laughs> as long as it's not salty. Yeah. I I think I, I beat everybody. I was drinking Captain Morgan's and Coke out of a pint glass. Yeah, I was just on pints. Funny. Yeah. I don't think you beat. No, no. No, I didn't drink as much as Megan, but there was nobody else drinking Captain Morgan's and Coke out of a pint glass. I thank you. I was drinking vanilla vodka and Coke out of a pint glass. Yeah. Last time I seen you, you were just walking around with a bottle of vanilla vodka. <laughs> <laughs> Neck in the bugger. Oh. 
Did you Frank did Frankenstein just do impersonation of Predator? Um that's a long story, saying that's one of those that you had to be there for. And yeah. No outside a bit of an in house joke. You can't drink again. Even fish didn't drink as much as Megan. Uh, Andy, nobody drank as much as Megan. I had, I had no idea where she kept getting those bottles from. The bar? Every time. It... Did you not see the amount of time she was running back and forward to the bar? Yeah, but I mean, like. She... But when she was getting into the bar, she was buying two at a time. Every time I saw her, she had like a bottle of vodka in, in her hand. Yeah. That's because everybody kept reaching her the bottles because she brought her own. Yeah. Then um, Nick and Jay and the guys, they all hopped in the car and went to get a carry out. So she got more. From Tesco's. And then, they put yeah. the the and then over, the course of, over the course of the weekend, then everybody kept handing her the vodka bottle. <laughs> yeah. She must have uh, drank about three litres of vodka the whole weekend. So. Yeah. Well, folks, it's getting close to that time. Um, it's time to say goodbye. Ow. No. Farewell. Goodbye. <laughs> I've been dizzying. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> See what I have to put up with, people? Yeah, if you're sorry. Said with a certain degree of sarcasm. <laughs> mm. well. mm. <laughs> it's a mixture of both. <laughs> you know, be honest, I'm a big girl, I can take it. That's what they all said. Yeah, but I'm not one of these snowflakes that goes crying for mummy whenever whenever someone's honest with me. I may smack you in the chin, but you know. You couldn't put my chin somewhere, right? <laughs> you want to buy it? You have to sit down eventually. Only if it's. <laughs> Not there is. So, folks, um, Steve, since you're the guest, would you like to say your final thoughts and three buys? Yeah. Bunny? No. <laughs> <laughs> mumble, oh. mumble, mumble, uh, mumble, 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 mumble. Mumble, mumble, mumble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah well, thanks for letting me join in the show. Uh, you didn't have to, you know, but um, it's good to do something rather than just sitting around doing nothing all day. Uh, thanks for the guys in chat. You know, I've mumbled most of the time. I've mumbled, I mumble, 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 and I'll keep mumbling. But yeah, thanks for joining me and uh, thanks for letting me into the show. basically what Steve said <laughs> uh, cheers very much everybody for tuning in it's been a pleasure as always uh, as Andy says, piss flat so yeah thoroughly enjoyed it nice to have you on Steve Dave, thank you very much for stopping in and Roy as ever, thank you very much for hosting you're welcome it's good to have, I'd like to thank FDA, my internet um, provider for giving me a secure enough <laughs> good enough connection these days to be actually able to host, so thank you uh, well, Steve said thank you for uh, to us for having him on the show and he enjoyed it it's better than sitting doing nothing on a Sunday than pulling his wire uh, yeah there's only so much helicopter and you can do on Sunday afternoons exactly. yeah. uh, uh, don't have a monkey in front of me he, has to, me, he has to give it a rest you know he's starting to hurt a bit like. yeah. but yeah thank you to everybody for chat and thank you for saying for being a good enough show for letting us put your picture on cast which will, it shall now firmly remain um, thank you to Steve Dave for joining us so today. So does that does that mean that not only is Saint our super spanner, but he's going to be the um, in-house mascot? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Um, and thank you to Bunny once again for joining up, joining me and co-hosting. You're very welcome. And um, I say thank you to everybody in chat. You are great, and you brighten up our Sunday afternoons. Um, and on there, and the next show will be. Wednesday evening. Hopefully. Now, Hopefully. Um, for the Vapor Lifestyle Expo prequel. Pre show, yeah. Um, and then Steve's, we'll Steve's favourite juice line broke deck. <laughs> broke back deck. 
Um, and yeah, Saint, I would have to agree with you in that case, decaf. Now, we've had this discussion before. Noel has no choice in the matter. He is not allowed caffeine for medical reasons. It's I, not his fault. Okay. He doesn't choose to drink decaf. Okay, if I couldn't, if I couldn't drink caffeinated coffee, proper coffee, then for medical reasons, I wouldn't drink anything to do with coffee then, because drinking decaf coffee is just sacrilege. But yeah, folks. Thank you very much for joining us on Sunday Vape Lounge. Um, and Roy Tetley says he's going to booty call you at six. Awesome, Tetley. Here, Tetley, you'll probably see more of his booty than I did. Bonnie, and trust me, I saw plenty of it. Funny, no just needs to put his big boy pants on and man it. <laughs> and Saint, so do you. Yeah, and get your ass on cast. Yeah, get your ass on cast. No, put your face on cast. <laughs> um, yeah, you just need to put your big boy pants up and get on ca and get on cast with us, <laughs> folks. Until Wednesday. So good morning, good evening, good afternoon, or good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Where you watching this cast? Why did he fucked up his own eye roll? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Let's try that again. Pause. Call, <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you've been watching this, take care now. Bye. Bye. Have a good day, guys. Fear born. <laughs> well, okay then. <laughs> That's not your line. Stop doing the line. Piss flaps. <laughs> Piss flaps. Peace <laughs> 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 Pashy Wally says Andy. <laughs>